Hey all, it's Nim or Nimacree if you're feeling professional and welcome to the YouTube video. Now today, we are going to be going through the beginning area in Anarchy Online. Now listen, I'm a big MMORPG guy and this game holds a special place in my heart because this, this game right here, was the first MMORPG I ever got to play. And while it's kind of labyrinthian and hard to get into, I hope to help decrypt it and let you guys get some of the experience that I have and some of the enjoyment that I derive from playing this game. So, if you like what I do, go on and hit subscribe and everything else, I do a lot of MMORPG content. If not, well, I'll see you in the next video. But without further ado, let's create the character and we'll go from there. So if you'll recall, the last Anarchy Online video I did, I went through all the professions from metaphysicist all the way through nanotechnician. And I put a poll on the YouTube channel saying, hey, what should I play? Now, there's a couple of controls I put on there. For example, I wasn't going to choose Keeper or Shade uh, because of the fact that you need to be paid in order to play those. And I didn't want to kind of gatekeep the content, so to speak. Now, that being said, just because I have the ability to subscribe doesn't mean everybody has the ability to subscribe. And this game can be enjoyed fairly well as a Froob or free player. So I decided after all of that kind of parsing out the votes and everything, we ended up with Fixer. Now, Fixer is a good choice because it's not too easy to play. It's also not too hard to play. And it has a lot of utility both in solo and group content. In addition, you have the ability to be nice to other players and execute Dr. Hack and Quack in their NCUs. And let me tell you, you're a new player and you've not experienced the glory that is Dr. Hack and Quack. Ah, oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful little four-hour hot that makes runs that would fail and turns them into runs that succeed. So no XP penalties and a whole bunch of other cool things. And honestly, enjoy Dr. Hack and Quack because I know I'm going to. Let's get on to the name creation here. And uh, as you know, the game's been out for over 20 years. So a lot of nicknames have been taken. Let's start with, though, why this fix? Why this fix? So let's go to Rubikai. All right, and there we go. We're in. Look at that. What do you know? So we're going we're gonna to cut the video here, and then we'll pick back up on the beginning of Rubikai. All right, and here we are. We're on Rubikai. Now, the very first thing that happened, of course, as you can see, is we have an item store, a cash shop in front of us. Now, listen, I'm not upset with a game wanting to make money, especially if it's a free-to-play game. Hey, look, that's how you make money, but maybe not the very first thing you see. Just, just maybe not the very first thing. Because I haven't even decided if I like this game yet. Now, here's a hint. Obviously, I'm making a video about it. I like the game. Fun game. Played it for a long time. Off and on. Um, I'll say this. While I'm not opposed to having in-game cash shop, especially if it provides value for money or is very generous to the player, I am going to say that uh, I don't buy anything from here until you have invested in the game personally or if you've done some research. Uh, because you can ultimately set yourself up for failures. For example, look at this heckler juice here. We mouse over this. Uh, let's see. I see if that gives it gives us some there. So it says there create level you up to two hundred, which is the max level for free players. Uh, two twenty is the max level for paid players. Uh, can only be used to carries low two hundred. Cannot use this if your XP gain is turned off. You will not get any new equipment, currency, or tools to match your new level. This item cannot be purchased unless you're level one hundred and fifty or greater. This item cannot be traded. You can only purchase one item per character. So. You keep in mind that you will not be able to... It won't give you gear. It'll just raise your level, which can cause problems down the line. Anyways, let's continue. There's always a daily login bonus, which is rather nice. Let's continue. And, of course, you've received a private message. Now, the cool thing about a lot of these particular tooltips is that you have the ability to disable them. So we can reply, message, enter, name of player, obviously, in whispers. I'll let you guys go through that if you want to read that. Uh, but we're going to disable that. And here we are. We are on Rubika. As you can see, it's a kind of an old school retro thing, if that's something you're into. Let's open up our inventory by pressing I. And as you can see in inventory, I've got a couple of different things here. So we're going to throw on some... First, we're going to throw on some healing. So we've got a first aid, or a stim, and a first aid kit. The difference between those is first aid you can use in combat. So the stim, you know, get yourself a little health. The treatment kits, you have to sit down for. And there's a couple of different types. The sit down is X. Simple. You can see my character sits there. Now, uh, let's equip some things. Razors, polarized specs. This uh, this is the first bit of armor. You'd think that, okay, you know, maybe not. Uh, sunglasses aren't a great deal of armor, but as you can see, it modifies and adds uh, to our current, to our current uh, armor stats. We have impact projectile. 
melee, martial arts, energy, chemical, radiation, cold, disease, and fire. Those are all the types of damage, and so those are all the types of defense for armor class. If you find yourself in a game in which you can, in, in, in an area in which your regular attacks aren't doing a lot of damage, try to change damage types. Odds are it will be helpful. So let's equip the stun glass. This is boom. And of course, we because we're a fixer, we start off with machine guns. And as you can see, everything is governed by skills and stats. So here we have our solar powered submachine gun. It is right hand based, and its special is burst. Attack skills are machine gun, submachine gun. Its defense is dodge range, and its damage type is impact projectiles. Let's equip that. Boom. So now we've got a weapon. We've got a little bit of armor, not a whole lot. I can't equip that just yet. Let's talk about magic, right? Ooh, it's, it wouldn't be an MMO without some magic. And in this case, it's science magic. So we'll start with nano formula. So the nano formula here, positive utility experience or expertise. Look at that. What that does is that gives me um, some trade skills, some trade skill stuff. Makes it a little better. We don't need to worry about it right now. But let's continue on with our good friend, Rex Larson. We'll talk to Rex. Now, you may, you may have noticed, there's not a whole lot of quest markers. Look for the blue names. If there's a blue name, then there's something you can interact with. So, we'll go through this quest. Now, here's a hint. I've tried, this is the third time I've tried to record this. The game has crashed. So, keep in mind uh, that if you tab in and out, you can have crashes. Uh, luckily, as MMO players, you guys tend, we all tend to... Uh, Stick together and not and then not worry about stuff. All right. Now I just closed out. I closed out of a mission. I'm going to show you how to do that faster than they explain it. So you go to mission. Boom. And you can do that through Control Four. Let's say it's in. Let's say you don't know where it is. You can go like this. Right click. Upload to map. Then you pull up your map. And you can keep your map there. It's fine. There's also a planet side map. And bam. Here it is. So I have to kill five malfunctioning cleaning robots. Before I do though. Because I know that uh, my submachine gun has burst, always look for special attacks. Well, I'll go to attack action. We'll go to burst. And I'm going to drag it right there. Oh, oh. And then because I, well, I like to keep things, see where they are on cooldown. <coughs> I'll put that right in front of my, uh, <clears throat> right, in front of, right in front of my face. So we'll start here. Malfunctioning clean robot. Burst. And then we'll just start fighting, knocking them all down. And you'll notice the yellow bar on the right-hand side of my red health bar is filling. That is your experience bar. So just keep that in mind. And uh, as you as you as you level up, uh, so this is your allows uh, do major damage. You're allowed to loot the corpse. So unlike more modern MMOs, it's not just a tag. You actually have to do the majority of the damage. So we'll disable this tip. Enough. Let's get back to our malfunctioning cleaning robots because we need to we need to get rid of those. Oh, there we go. Dead. And burst. And I think that's the last one. Okay, cool. Got him. Oh, I got a ring. Look at that. Nice. So now we can talk about some more armor. That's pretty cool. And that sound that wah 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 that means you've uh Gotten a few extra things, so let's uh, let's start with let's go let's go take uh, let's go to where as you can see here weapon. So you have four different tabs. You've got your weapons, uh, which includes basically everything you'd be to be offensive and uh, your nano belt and the decks. Think of those as mem. So this holds your memory. These are your memory chips. More memory means you can stack more buffs. This game is all about how juiced can you get on nano. The answer, a lot, a, a whole lot. Oh my god, cloth is your armor. So we'll put this on our ring there. And this adds one energy damage. When I do energy damage, we'll add a shoulder. Oh, can I not add a shoulder? Oh, nope, not quite yet. I need to be a little higher. How about, uh, what are these? Pants? Legs? Pants? Nope, need to be a little higher. So it'll, 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 tell you, it'll tell you if there's something there. So we'll get out of that. At least, we got a, at least we got a new ring. Let's go continue the quest. Now, obviously, the mission there is open the cargo box. We know the cargo box is right here. Open it, and see how it just changed? Return to Rex Larson. I'm going to return to Rex. Hey, Rex, what's up? You don't want to ask? Now tell me the contact. Uh, he doesn't have too many friends. He's going to tell me to go talk to uh, Marcus Stone. All right, Marcus. We'll go talk to Marcus. Now, normally what I would do is I, I would fight a couple more robots and just gain that next level. But we'll, I'll show you about leveling here in a second. Because unlike traditional, uh, unlike more modern MMOs, this more traditional MMO is a little more complex when it comes to leveling. There we go. All right, he just had to, he was in combat. Wouldn't let me talk to him. 
So, uh, yeah, apparently I misplaced my identity card. Look, I swear I had it. It just, uh, it was, it's in my other wallet, in my pants. You see how, how it works is, you know, it's, don't, don't worry about it. Okay, I guess I'll help you put out the fires in order to, uh, in order to get this done. So, this is where, this is an item use. So I know, and I'm gonna go over here to this back, this back fire. I'm gonna click this out of my inventory. With left click, I'm gonna right click the gas, oh, nope, I'm gonna, sorry, it's, uh, cancel. I'm gonna left click and then... I must, I need to get it right. Ah, oh, sometimes, sometimes I forget the, uh, okay. So we'll do that. There it is. See how the icon, the cursor turned blue? That means it was right. So always look for the blue cursor. So empty, blue, empty, blue. So what was happening is I was actually not clicking where I needed to. Eh, you know, silly me, silly me. Now, let's go talk to Marcus. Marcus, what do you got for me? Marcus, we good? I'm gonna go loot. I'm gonna go loot those. That way, hopefully, he doesn't get he doesn't start attacking while I'm doing this. Pull up our inventory. Drag over the fire suppressor. Boom. And hey, we leveled. Okay, so we'll go over the level here in a second. Um, I gotta go talk to Flint Novak. Now, one of the cool things about this is you can get out of this intro storyline very very quickly if you just do the bare minimum and then you can go on to the next stuff. But if you hang around a little bit longer, you can actually end up getting more gear. So we'll start with that. I'll do it. Just tell me how. All right. So I'm going to go do this quest real quick before I, before I have to uh, do anything else. So we see the blue. We know the wounded dock worker. We're going to go uh, here, and I'm going to use that item. Boom. And there it is. We've completed the item. We've completed the quest. And we'll turn it in. Healed it. And I gained, I gained a little extra experience and a few extra credits. Nothing wrong with that. You know, more credits, always not. Cool. All right. So now I've got, I've got some extra stuff here. And notice, uh, so here we have level one, and I think those are both level one. So that's fine. Not a big deal. Let's start with the gear. So drag this over. You guys get, see a chance here. You'll notice that I have a certain number of points. Right now it's 5,500. So at your, at your first tier level, you will actually gain 4,000 per level. I start off with 1,500, thus 5,500. Now, depending on the race of character you are, you will have different caps for your strength, stamina, sense, agility, intellect, and psychic. Those six stats govern generally what you can equip. Now, there are some special uh, exceptions to various weapons where you need a certain amount of skill in that weapon to equip, but in general, these six want to be maxed. And uh, because I am op effects, my sense and agility are the easiest, and my stamina is the lowest, as in the, or the hardest. Basically, light green means it's very cheap to raise, dark blue means it's very expensive, and medium blue is medium cost, no, no plus or minus. So then we'll increase our body, and if you're ever curious about what a skill does, just look, click on it. Body development. Uh, defines your health or hit points exclusively dependent on stamina, your character level, your profession, and your breed also influences your health. So I'm obviously going to increase my health. We're going to increase the evade close combat. I'm going to increase my nano pool, so I have more nano pool to work. Increase dodge range. And I'm going to increase my nano resist. Because the idea is a fixer, right? Like, I'm a, I'm a hacker type person. You know, I root people, I snare people, I shoot, I got to dodge, I, I got to try to try to be cool. 90s cool. Now, I don't use melee weapons, because I uh, range class. Let's go to range weapons. And as you can see, machine gun, submachine gun, fully, uh, fully easy. And then I'm going to go to multi-range, because at some point, I want to use, uh, want to use two. So we'll keep those up there. Go to range special. Well, we know that we use burst. So look at that. Now we do more burst damage, which is nice. Go down to our nanos and casting. Now, sadly, all these are dark blue. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. I don't, I'm, for now, I'm gonna just max all of them. Uh, if, let's, and you can see I do have a reset all skills just in case, uh, and you can reset each skill individually if necessary, so. And let's say I, let's say I don't want to save changes, I can just close, so. If you need to look up certain things, you can. Go to combat healing. Now, this is where they're all green, so we're gonna start with, uh, first aid, absolutely. Treatment, yes. Trap disarm because, well, I want to I wanna disarm traps. Uh, perception to notice hidden things. Psychology will help with 
charm and concealment will be useful for uh, running mission running, which we can go over a little later. Now exploring. So exploring, adventuring is not useful anymore. It used to be useful. It's not anymore. Uh, right now, what you want to worry about is run speed. Definitely run speed. So now I actually move faster. And later, once you get some money, you can always uh, buy uh, vehicle air. You can buy a Yalm, I think, for about 15 million credits from a certain vendor. Uh, but we can go over that. I think the maximum amount of credits you can carry, I believe, is somewhere around 10 billion. That's been a while. Uh, but that's okay. So we're going to trade repair. Now, this is where these skills are going to be both either you love them or you hate them. This is what you use to make everything in the game. Some classes, like the trader, can really use a lot of these. The, uh, the fixer's not too bad either. Oh, another, another thing you want to always max if you can is the comp literacy. So comp literacy means that the, the higher that is, the, more, the higher NCU decks you can use, the more NCU modules you can put in, the more buffs you can have. So that, while that may not directly equate to I can do more damage right now, it means I can now hold more buffs or access higher equipment and then be able to add more buffs and do more damage. And of course, break an entry because, uh, you know, hey, I'm a fixer, right? That's what we do here. That's what we do here. And uh, then, of course, disabled legacy we don't need to worry about. Now, one thing I am going to say is that don't worry about spending all of your points every level, right? You will eventually, they will eventually become very scarce, and you'll be like, oh, no, give me more. And then as you title up, as you hit a certain break points of levels, you'll feel like, oh, I'm swimming in them. And then the same thing will repeat and repeat and repeat. Uh, but eventually, you'll, you'll, you'll get a thing. Ideally, you want to upgrade your abilities. You want to upgrade your uh, comp lit, and then go from there, maybe with damage skills. Some people are going to have different philosophies on that. Now, you'll hear it in the comments uh, down below, which you can, obviously. Uh, but just keep that in mind. So let's go talk to Flint Novak. All right, Flint. And as you can see, I actually am moving a lot faster. Well, also, my health is hurting, so let's go F1 to target oneself. Hit 8, boom, and we're back. We're back, friends. I don't have a whole lot yet I can do, but that doesn't mean that we can't actually figure this out. So first we're going to get to where I can exit Rubika if I want, or I can exit the uh, starting zone if I want to, and then we'll worry about optimization, meaning because there's a lot of cool things you can end up out of here, and I, and, and I, I like that. Dual weapons, and other stuff. All right, I told you it worked for me. Yep. Now what hardware does she need? I can find it. All right. Well, what's a uh, bioanalytic? The one with a piece of robot scrap. All right. Let's go get it. So now, if we check our missions, I gotta find a bioanalyzing computer. I need to kill seven robots in the junkyard to make this a reality. Now, one of the cool things is sometimes you will find enemies that are a little stronger than normal. We look here at the Clean Meister Intelligence. So first, we're gonna pop that off. And now I'm just trying to I'm just trying to do damage to it. If I need to, I can always heal myself, but for now I'm just going to oh, I'm being attacked by a garbage fleet. Not good. Not good at all. Uh let's do that. Alright, it's dead. Garbage flea? Die! Die, garbage flea. Now would you look at all that stuff? Got some pretty decent uh got some pretty decent gear out of that. Battered flak armor. Got a, looks like uh, some, some various things here. Hologram PD barrel, nice, nice. Even, and here's the thing, the best part about this is even if I don't need anything from it, I can at least, uh, I, I, I can at least use that for, for, for gear. So let's pick, uh, can I, oh, nope, not quite. Okay, well, I've got some shorts. Well, style and profile in there, but it's a little... And let's equip the NCU deck. So now I have more... I have more NCU that I can possibly wear. So let's clean... Let's clean... Let's clean up these robots. Oh, cool. Take those. I guess somebody just let it rot because they were like, I don't care. Which is dope. Thanks for the five credits. Appreciate it. May not seem like a lot, but what if five credits... Five credits is five credits is five credits. Uh, boop. Don't worry, uh, so, so you're gonna, some people are gonna be really worried about how they look, right? I'm generally not one of them. I mean, I'm wearing a World of Warcraft shirt, I have visible acne and a high-definition camera. I'm, I'm not concerned, personally. 
But if you're worried about how you look, at one point you can always uh, check out the social tab, uh, which will be which will show you how you how people see you out in the world. Let's kill this waste collector. Come here, waste collector. I need two more junkyard robots. Wow, that thing's dodging. Get on him. Uh, okay, I guess it went away. Oh, damn it. First is still... Hey, we leveled! All right, dope. So we leveled uh, level three. I think I need... Do I need one more? One more junkyard robot, I think. So let's kill that junkyard robot. And burst! There it is. All right, mission is complete. What's up? Oh, damn, it did it disappear? Let's take that robot junk. Dope. Now, let's see what we have here. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. As you can see, I, I have 5,937. I ended the last time with uh, 1,937, so 4,000 points. Let's go to our abilities and increase again. Now I can actually equip some better gear. And of course, uh, eventually you'll find gear that's more suited as opposed to just what you pick up. But hey, it's the beginning of the game. Gotta, you kind of got to do what you got to do. Increase the nano pool, so I have more nano, more dodge range, and nano resist. So I live. What a range special. And multi-range, just in case. Nanos and casting. I can't wait. Stuff. And there's biometamorphosis. Exploration. I definitely want more run speed. Combat and healing. Oh, yeah. Give me the, give me the first aid and treatment, friends. Give me the first aid and treatment. Wrap this arm. 100%. Uh, let's go to concealment. Psych. Perception. And trade and repair. I definitely want to increase my comp lit. My break and entry. Boom. And there we go. All right, save changes. Nice. I feel like I got them all right. Did I, did I get them all? Yeah. Oh, no, I forgot burst. How dare I forget burst. <laughs> there we go. And you can, you can spend points basically at any time. Obviously, I wouldn't do it uh, right in combat because, you know, you might get shot, stabbed, uh, burned, blown up, diseased, uh, irradiated. But... Outside of that, you know, not a big deal. Let's go talk to our friend Alex. And again, remember, if you are always curious where to go, there's a little white X once you upload the mission to the map. Now, this mission is kind of a long chain. So that's why I figured we'd continue with this. Let's talk to Alex. Yo, Alex, what's up? Yeah, bring this dice so I can get an ID. Yep, gotta bring you an ID. Come on, Alex, give me an ID so I can access uh, Rubika. All right, and then, of course, uh, I can have some things here. Yeah, uh... uh... Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll... Who are you? Didn't see too many robots. Alright, who's in charge here? Desmond Calteria. Alright, Desmond. What do you got? Let's, uh, I think we got a new mission. Deliver the bioanalyzing... Oh, I forgot to get, deliver the bioanalyzing computer. So, notice how it didn't prompt me to complete a quest. I'm gonna do this. Gonna go give them the bioanalyzing computer. Boom. And uh, now I'll get it done. Let's go talk to Bill. Let's go talk to Bill in my thing. Hey, Bill, what's up? What do you got for me? Name, I'm new to this planet. Uh, what do you do around here? What locations are nearby? Goodbye. Take a look here. Surveillance uplink. So now it's time to go survey, do a surveillance uplink. That gave me a new quest, which it's always good to check your missions uh, because you never know where when you're going to get lost. So let's check our mission. So we go here. See that I've got a surveillance uplink. Boom. And done. And the mission is changed to plant a bug. So let's go plant that bug. I know where I, and I can see where it is on the map. But just in case, it's always good to look. So let's go here, plant a bug, boom, oh that's not right, actually plant that bug, there it is, we've planted a bug, now it's time to go back uh, to Bill, I think, oh uh, yeah, let's go deliver the rebuilt to Bill, so now we should actually have a bunch of fun things that we can do, and as you'll see, I've got 4,364 credits, which Granted, it isn't a whole lot, but we can probably figure a few things out.
Let's see. Give you... I will take care of it. All right, it's time to go kneecap a kneecapper. We look at this kneeca knee, uh, kneecapping a knee breaker. So we go over here, as you can see. We're walking through. And this guy is going to have an orange health bar, I believe. But don't worry, he's going to go down pretty quick. Yeah, so the color of health bar here. I can drag that away. Let's center that up just a little. So the color of health bar means that determines the difficulty. Red is the hardest. Then you have an orange, yellow, uh, which is basically your level. Green is a little below your level, and gray is farther enough below your level. As you get lower in difficulty, you get less experience. Pretty simple. So let's just start here. Boom. Gun win. America. Now, maybe I can actually have some pan. Nope. I need to be at least 15, so we're, we're, we're getting there. We are certainly getting there. Now, keep in mind that not all gear is created equally, so always look at the stats, always see things, and if you want to see your individual stats, you can go to uh, your actions, see stats, right there. These are my individual stats. You can see this is my health, uh, nano pool, experience, and then we have our alien experience, dual score, solo score, and team score. Alien experience is a special thing we will get to, uh, keep in mind that alien experience is only good for uh, paid players. So keep that in mind that if you feel like you're killing aliens, you're not getting any alien experience. Uh, it might be because you got a sub. Outside of that, there is a cap to it. So you can't just instantly grind something out just like your regular levels. And then here you can see my attack rating, melee, and all my, ar all my armor classes. So let's keep moving. And let's go talk to uh, a friend. And keep in mind, this is one long mission chain. Like, I'm still not done with this mission chain. It's over here for now. Yeah, we'll put that right there. All right. There you are, Alex. What's up, Alex? Uh, I don't have to worry about Kaltiri anymore. Uh, yeah, personalized robot brain. Cool, goodbye. And let's go talk to Stan Goodman. Now, you notice I have two missions. I think you can carry up to 25 at a time. But that trade skilling is an optional one. So let's go talk to Stan Goodman. So let's upload the map and talk to Stan Goodman. All right, Stan, where you at? All right, Stan, what you got for me? Stanley. Stanley. Talk to me. I heard you could help me out. Do you have any work for me? Uh, and let's see. I arrived with that idea. Now I said you could help me. Hmm. Well, I suppose I don't have much choice. So, buy a lockpick, sneak in a small building, undetected, locate your strongbox. All right, uh, can, I, can I buy anything from you? But first, I need to buy a lockpick. Oh, let's find, let's find out where I can get a lockpick. That's a furniture merchant, not really worried about furniture. Furniture's not really something there. And seeing as how I'm a fixer, I'm pretty good. I, that's the, you know, pretty good at hacking stuff. That's kind of the point. Uh, it looks like, uh, what do we have here? Ooh, okay. A lot of stuff, but not... Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Burst and better weapons. I want to check. I, I, might, I might actually mess around. Can I, can I dual wield those? Oh, it's just right hand. Damn. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Uh, let's go to... What, what is my current weapon at? It's... Uh, looks like 3 to 24, 18. And that's... 3 to 27. Eh, not bad. Anyways. Uh, we'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, else, see what else we got here. Let's get rid of that. Let's go, let's go, let's go capitalize on, uh, let's go turn off my where, there it is. Let's go capitalize on things here. And I, where can I buy a lockpick? Ah, I remember. Go buy a lockpick over here. Hello, friend. I'll take a lockpick. You have nothing to discuss. What are you talking about? Okay, I'll buy a tool. So here we have a vacuum-packed lockpick. Pick that one up. And then, of course, there's a, purse, a hacker tool, a mission key duplicator, and night vision goggles, in case you want to mess around with that stuff. All right, so let's open up our vacuum-packed lockpick. 
I'll learn that. And this is, of course, composite trade skill experience. So now I can use that buff to just walk around, being able to do various other things. But keep in mind, you don't actually always need to have non-combat buffs on. The only thing you really need to have is what will let you equip something. In a later video, we'll go over equipment ratings and over-equipping and all that jazz. Because there is a way you can kind of cheat stuff on. Now, let's see. Normal actions? Do we have a sneak? I'm a sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Ah, let's see. There's a lot of blue. Let's just keep that in mind. Let's shift click that. No, I don't want that. I want to shift click that. Concealment. So it's H by default. Okay, so 10 seconds on the uh, on the conceal. So if you want to hit H, you can do it by default. So that should be a. It should tell me when concealment is up. There it is. Concealment skill available. So we'll conceal. Um, sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. I don't mind being detected. I just want to. Well, actually, I do mind being detected. I do not wish to be detected. Being detected is terrible. There it is. That's what we're looking for. So luckily, nothing has come after me. Let's lockpick. There it is. Nice. I got Antonio's Adaption Factor. Get out of here. One thing you do want to make sure is that uh, make sure you, have, you sneak back in case uh, it's a problem. Luckily, it wasn't. And we're going to jump. Eventually, you gain the ability to jump much higher. All right, and Stanley, what do you got? I think I have what you're looking for. Uh, okay. Am I in? Am I incorrect here? Deliver Antonio's adapt. Okay, yeah. Bring bring the uh. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Okay, uh, so you need the nanotransmitter, blank info chip, encryption bot, and the adapter. Okay, so I got, I gotta give, I gotta give every. I, I seems like I didn't, cause uh, you know, bad. Compiler. Blank chip, and what is that? That's the hologram. The hologram. Here it is. Next one. Boom. Give credits, and we leveled. All right. Uh, let's see here. Thanks. That was fun. All right, entirely legal employment. Perfect, perfect. So let's go. Let's go talk. Let's go talk. Let's go see. We'll do a little bit more abilities. Let's uh, increase that. Boom, boom. Yep. And as you can see, you eventually get pretty good at what you. You eventually get pretty fast at what you're trying to do. Dodge range, nano resist. Let's go to. Uh, ranged weapons, we'll do the machine gun burst and multi-ranged. Let's go to ranged special for burst attack. I want more burst. Nano's casting. Basically, and one of the cool things is every time you level, all of your health gets regenerated. So that's really cool. If you level during a fight, it can save you, as uh, on various times with me. We move a little faster. Always cool. Combat healing. Let's increase... Uh, Wrap this arm, treatment, first aid, concealment so I can hide, perception, and psychology. And then, of course, we got trade repair. We'll do more comp lit, uh, break and entering, and we're good. All right, save changes. Nice. One of the cool things is once you, once you hit, once you hit uh, max rank in, uh, in, high, uh, for, uh, in defensive Rubicon, you actually, everybody, everybody knows about it, so that's really cool. Take a look here. Let's go buy some nanoprograms. Ooh, what is that? Composite attribute boost. Ooh, nice. All right, we'll we'll uh we'll buy some nanoprograms. Upload to map, and the reason we're gonna buy the nanoprograms is because it'll make me a little better. Nanos are sold in here. Nanos again are magic, so don't worry about it. You know, science magic. All right, what you got for me, friend? What can you tell me about nanoprogram? Where can I get new Nana Pro? All right, well, let's take a look at your shop. What's a Nano Program? What is Notum? It's uh, Omnitech Science. 
move that over here. And here we have it. So here we have basically uh, nano program packages for your individual class. So for example, let's go down to, so we have adventurer, agent, bureaucrat, doctor, enforcer, engineer, mixer, there we go, by one. And of course it is 1337, so that's leet. Yes. All right, and let's, uh, I bought some nano programs, right? And then open the container to complete. So let's open the container. See if I can't equip some better armor real quick. Just something. And what I got, because I had... And then I'll, I'll learn that. Oh, no. Nope. Psychological modifications must be at least 30. So I've learned basic insurance hack. And, oh, no, I haven't. I don't quite have it yet. Passage distribu... Okay, so, well, I, I need to level up just a little bit more before I do anything else. There's minor suppressor. And, oh, nice. So this right here gives me an actual buff. This is the first buff that we have. So if remember, NCU is important. I have 8 out of 10. How much is the minor suppressor? NCU cost is 1, so that means I can cast it on myself. Boom. All right, now let's go talk to Sarah Green. Upload the map. Let's go talk to Sarah Green. And you can see we've got, we've, not only do we have some better armor, uh, but we've got, we do a little bit more damage. And you can always, if you want to see how long buffs last, you can always mouse over them and see. Uh, this is, this lasts for four hours. And that also works for debuffs. Go talk to Sarah Green. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Uh, we might be able to help each other out. Have you tried to con- Ah, uh, well, let's, let's try and contact ICC. All right. Well, that's so far, uh, he's got armor, which is pretty useful. Ooh, look at that. Nice little armor, uh, armor and such. Sundance pants, Sundance shirt. Various things there, much hat, much hat. So I actually have, uh, you know, it's funny is I actually have, uh, Shadowlands. Yeah, this is actually Shadowlands. Must have the Shadowlands. I've got Shadowlands twice, both in WoW and this. <coughs> uh, so some people may, may, uh, may mourn me for that. Uh, do you know anybody I should talk to around here? Uh, what, what is this? Welcome to a read. Oh, okay. Quests, questions, great. So that's, that's always nice. Anyways, uh, let's continue. Uh, Remy Gallo, he's not a bad, bad guy. Let's take a look at our mission tab. Find the thief. Thief was last seen underground. Interesting. Okay, well, I know where to go there. Obviously, underground. Let's get to killing. All right, garbage flea. Yay, 400. So one thing I am going to end up doing here, because I forgot to do this, is once you have the ability to go to research, research allows you to essentially research uh, small buffs. So I'm going to start with, uh, we've got a couple of different things here. There's insurance, fallback plan, respectable businessman, smuggler sense, cunning. And these all have different things. And of course, apotheosis has got to be level 10. Um, uh, but that's something else. I'm gonna go with, uh, acquisition for first. So that'll, that'll, that will add, uh, 10. The first level adds 10 to my machine gun, submachine gun, which means I'll do a little bit more damage. And I do mean a little bit more damage. All right, continue. Burn! Or I guess, fire gunshot? I don't know. And of course, 62%, so 62% XP. Oh, look at that. We got a ring of power physics sample and some sleeves so can i equip these sleeves thank you and now i have two rings nice i am gonna have to sell some here in the future now there's gonna be enemies around here so just be all up oh, we see a big boy we see a big boy in the back luckily burst really helps so i can shoot them And now we come to inventory space. Inventory space is, is constantly a problem. We're just going to start dropping things here. Now, sadly, you cannot sell stuff from your backpack, uh, which, which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, you know, you, you, know you, can, you can always move it back in. I'm, gonna, I'm just doing this to create a little extra space for me. 
So that way, now we've got it's like mutated garbage. This is gonna be this is gonna be one. Boom. Oh, that's strong. That's strong. Oh, let's run. Let's get out of here. So I don't die. Not a big fan of death, you know? Not a big fan of death. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through here. And I don't quite have anything anything yet. So let's say you're in you're in a pinch, right? Let's say you're in a pinch and you're like, man, I just need to I need to I need to get some heals. I got some problems. Is there an auto dock in here? There is, there it is. Auto dock. That deducted hundred credits, healed me full. You can do that, so just keep that in mind as we as we proceed. Let's go for uh let's do a little exploring, huh? What do you say? Now I know because I know I know we said we I know I said we just focus on this, but I want to see what my what my stats are because I want I need I need at least I need two thousand more experience. I'm halfway there, so I'm gonna step out here real quick, gain uh, another gain a level. Hey, what's going on? Looks like I I have leveled. Nice. There's a little roller rat intestine. So I'm gonna actually get back. Uh, so that's just got research there. I've I've got extra things that I can I can mess around with. And let's go take... Oh, what is that? Right. Attacked by Roller Rat? I don't want to be attacked by Roller Rat. Gnarl the Roller. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to bother with I'm not going to bother that. I'm only level 5. Let's get inside. Let's go sell some things. Create some inventory space. And move from there. Before we do anything else, though, I do definitely want to uh, distribute my points. Abilities, increase that, all that stuff. Yep. Intelligence and psychic, body defense, so I have more, more health. Made close combat. Nano pool, dodge range, and nano resist, so I can live. Range weapons for more range specials for burst. Hello. Oh, uh, range weapons. I think I'm gonna need to multi range, just so I can eventually have that. Now, once you have the required skill for the build or the item that you want, you actually don't have to increase it anymore. Seeing as how I'm so low level, I'm just increasing what I can as I can because, quite frankly, I'm going to end up, even if I don't put another point in any of them, they're going to be much higher towards the end anyways. So I'm just kind of putting, the, putting those in there as we speak. Hey, what do you know? Now I can learn my composite stuff, which will be very helpful. Because I can learn more nano formulas. And you can, you can have sets of buffs that really help. Uh, let's go with that. There it is. The combat healing. More first aid. More treatment. Trap disarm. Concealment. And psychology. Trade repair. Comp lit. Break and enter. Alright, that's not too bad. Save changes. Boom. Okay. Now, let's go, let's go, let's go make some money. Because, honestly, I might be able to... I might now be able to actually uh, buy some better armor. Talk to Remy Gala, Gala, Galos. Uh, do you have any work for me? Uh, what do you want me to do now? You know, I guess I could do that. Alright, cool. That was part of the quest. Uh, she told me to talk to Remy. Now, I'm going to talk to this guy, because I want to I wanna sell a few things. I want to sell, uh, sell you. Oh, no, damn. I do actually have to drag, it seems like, but that's okay. Sell a few things. Make a little extra money. Is this the Hellfire Rocket? Oh, it is? Okay, perfect. Now, you can't, all, you can't sell everything all the time, but you can sell a lot of stuff. That'll be, that'll be something there. And then I can sell... That make a little extra money. We're almost wait, well, you know, we're almost eight thousand credits. That's pretty cool. Except nice. Now do that. How much? How much nano does that take? NCU cost is four, and I've got uh can't remove a hot. Oh, that's a hostile. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so uh, I do not need. I do, however, want you. All right, perfect. So now I can learn basic insurance hack. Oh no, not quite. Almost. 
Mm. Oh, well. Anyways, basic insurance hack. Now what I now I have something known as basic insurance hack, which will uh, last for four minutes, and it heal. It has forty hits and heals a little bit every time, so that's not too bad. Let's turn off our nano programs, and I think I might be able to. I have some questions. Uh, do you know anybody I should talk to around here? Uh, Remy Gallo, seeing a bad guy. All right, I'll check out your wares in a second, Sarah. But for now, let's go talk to... Uh, let's go check our mission. Bulling a sandstorm. Interesting. Been like three sandstorm marauders. All right, let's upload the map. Let's go limit, eliminate three sandstorm mar marauders. Now, the only reason I'm doing any side quest right now is because I actually need the ability to kill that garbage flea. So there will be... so. There will outside of outside of just grinding, there will be some things that need to happen. So let's start with whip that. Whoa! All right, I forgot. I forgot they actually are like we're gonna we're gonna see all this stuff here. That's pretty cool. I like that. That looks like a sandstorm marauder. Oh, that worked. This is probably gonna suck. Oh, yeah, they're doing a little bit of damage to me. That's okay, though. Can I, can I heal it? Hey, 41 credits. Nice. I'll take 41 credits. I like 41 credits. I'm gonna back up, just so I don't die. Because, uh, you know, they're gonna respawn here soon. And I definitely do not wish to die. So that is a significant amount of damage. Might be able to actually kill that roller rat with it if I wanted to. That's a sandstorm marauder. There we go. Gonna just uh, queue up with you. And boom! Hey, yo! Hey, we made it! Hey! Ring of Power projectiles, and that's even better. Because I use impact projectile damage right now. So first I'm going to uh, get the hell out of dodge. Or let's uh, let's go to let's equip our, our weapon here. Let's equip our solar power submachine gun. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Then let's go to our character, cloth, and pick up a ring of projectile, which is what I actually do. There it is. So now I actually add two damage to each of my projectiles. Because I wasn't using energy damage, it wasn't quite as effective. I'm attacked by an angry mini bull. Okay, now to run all the way back. Uh, as you can see, early MMO gameplay uh, was sometimes grindy, and this uh, this this actually makes me feel this makes me feel this is some of the quality of life stuff. But also, there's a there's a purity about it that's hard to hard to say. So let's go see if we can't finish this finish this up. Hey, and one more, and we uh we level. Which is pretty cool. We just did that on. We just did that taking, you know, the route back to uh, taking the route back back to Raimi. And depending on how I level, I might actually be able to. Uh, I might actually be able to take on that 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 big garbage uh, roller rat thing, which I'm not a fan of. I'm level six. What's up? What's that? As you can see, we're now at 585, so that's, uh, well, things are starting to get a little, little tight around. But, luckily, there is a limit that you can have for each tier. So, that'll let you, that'll let you catch up on certain things. Nano pool, dodge range, nano resist. Uh, let's go to range weapons for more burst. Hello, thank you, friend. Uh, multi-ranged, ranged initiative. Range special for a burst fire. Nanos and casting? Yep. Yep. I still have some nano formulas I can't learn in this current tier, and I really want them. I really would like to be able to use them. Go to exploring for run speed, so I'm faster. Uh, let's go to combat healing. We'll do first aid. Treatment. And so notice that right there I didn't fill the whole thing. Because I was like, because I I like I had to make a decision. And I think we might we might be able to go back and get some more trap disarm. Uh and concealment. 
perception and probably oh okay look at that we we're able to do it all we were able to do it all that time but as you see it's much closer now than it was before before it was before we were, we were like whoo we could we could get that done let's go let's go let's go find that thief now i think i know where i think i know where that thief is i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it now and do a little bit more damage yeah so before like before that was that was orange now it <sighs> They're gonna try to kill that big that big bug. Oh, I did get 500, 500 though. I'm not worried about that right now. Let them have that if they want it. I'll let them have it. Thing should should spawn. The thief the thief is actually just right there. That's the thief, but it's guarded by something. All right, you're dead. 497 isn't a big deal. Thank you. And we got this. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, right now instead of it instead of it being it was red before, now it's just yellow. So now I think we now I think we got it. Basic insurance hack was terminated, sadly. Can I can I cast the nano program? Oh, let's do F1. Nope, I do not have enough nano. That's okay though. Round two. Fight! Luckily, it's it's taken it's taken a lot more damage now than it was, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I could probably remove composite utility experience often as well as sit. I don't really need that right now. Uh, let's do eight just for extra health, just to make sure life is easy. Then we're gonna do nano for Doctor Hack or not Doctor Hack and Quack, but basic insurance hack, so that keeps me alive. Even though I am taking a lot of damage. Got 23 seconds, but luckily the extra hits are coming in handy. So I think I think I can tank it. 19 seconds left on that. Really, really sucks. And it's cool. Made it. Birthday cake. Pick all that stuff up. Uh, let's just F18 that just in case. Why am I attacked by the garbage? There's so many garbage. All right, let's let's just move. Let's get out of here. I'm not I'm not trying to deal in case that big in case that big boy comes back. Now I've got the DNA locked armor and I can return to Remy, which means we can actually continue the quest. And keep in mind, we've been playing for a little over an hour here and we're almost done with the intro zone. Now, I know obviously if you're playing an MMO, time is probably not of the essence. But I also know that if you're playing this game, you want to see what it all what it's all about. You don't want to necessarily be locked to one area, which makes perfect sense. First, let's return to Sarah since we're we're here, right? You're gonna have her stuff, and then I can return to Remy. Hey, Sarah. That's stolen armor. Oh, that looks really cool. No wonder that thief stole it. Vernon Godfrey. Okay, let's talk to Vernon about that. What do we have here? Uh, nanobots, worn metaplast, strength and agility. That's pretty good stuff. Way better than what I had. I got. I at least got. You know, while I, while while I definitely definitely look a hot mess, I've at least got better. At least got better armor. Your field test is complete. Hey, I got an item. Nice. Well, thank you. Thank you, Remy. Appreciate it. And we've almost leveled up again. Which, uh, pretty cool. Let's pull up our... Let's go talk to Vernon Godfrey. Uh, all right. Well, let's talk to uh, a local hacker. Local hackers, right? As, uh, this... Vernon, what you got for me? Fine, I will hold the items for you. Oh, am I... I can't believe I'm full. Um, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna 
Items can't be dropped in that location. Not possible to add items to that inventory. Uh, okay. I guess we're just gonna go with Rotoat Junk. Items can't be dropped. Can I maybe sell some things? Damn. Alright, at least I can sell a few. Take the hacking tool. There it is. Nice. We got rid of the overflow. And now let's see about possibly uh, getting rid of... getting rid. Of, ooh. Melee weapon expertise. Lesser suppressor. This is a disc, but I don't really need that right now. I'm going to sell the butter cake because I don't need it. Sell the nano blade. Uh, the blade. Ooh, got 100 credits for that. Nice. We'll sell some of these monster parts. I wish I could click this to sell. I, there might be a way to do that, but I'm not 100%. Uh, ooh. Oh, I can, I can learn that now, I think. That's pretty cool. Sell that. Sell a few more things. Cool. And accept. So what do I do here? Uh, hacking skills. Combine the hacking tool with the Omnitech. Okay, so that's easy enough. Hacking tool. Omnitech library. That should be what I, what I needed, right? <coughs> Shift-T. Okay, ah, oh, that's what that is. All right, so Shift-T for trade skilling. I don't do a whole lot. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of, uh, of trade skilling, to be quite honest. Uh, it's just not something that I'm necessarily there. And we'll build. Boom. Hey, we did it. Got it done. Nice. Now I can talk to Vernon. I was able to hack the device. Very well. Leave it here if I would. Absolutely. I will leave it there, friend. Although I do want it. I, I, I do want it. Mine. And a level. We're level seven. All right. Uh, is this legal? Technically, no. But neither is getting a fake ID. I love it. I love it. All right, so let's continue here. As you can see, we are well under uh, 5,000. So this is going to be something fun. Uh, let's go back here. We probably won't be able to do it all this time. So let's, we're going to start. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with, I think we'll evade close combat, nano pool, dodge ranged, and nano resist. Let's go to our ranged weapons for that. Ranged in it. And our multi-ranged, our specials for burst, so I do more damage. Let's go to exploring for run speed. Uh, trade repair for comp lit. Break and enter. And let's continue on with first aid and treatment. Now I should be able to go back to nanos and casting for something. Uh, let's get them all, let's see if I can't get them all to 40 at least. Nope, not all to 40. Oh, wait, I don't need nano initiative comp. Why did I reset that skill? Ah, it's fine. I'll do it later. There's no, there's no, re it's, it's the, the, the amount of, the amount of points in there isn't bother me too much. Um, because I don't actually need nano combat. <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay. Apply. Let's go to the shipping manifest and apply the hacker tool if access is denied. Well, I have a feeling access is going to be denied. You guys probably agree with me, right? Access is going to be denied. At least I've got a better weapon. Like, or not a better weapon. At least I've got some better gear. So that'll be fine. And then I can mess around with the trade skilling thing a little later if I need to. But that'll be on the... That'll be after we get through the actual quest line. There it is. You gonna give me some accept shifting my uh, access denied? Apply hacker tool. Let's apply. Where's that hacking tool? Wait, did I? Thought I put that on the desk. Reroute. Hey, all right, Vernon. What do you got for me? And can I equip this? I can. Oh, my comp literacy is required to be at least fifty. Oh, I would have thought my comp lit was at least fifty. Forty nine. Hmm. You know, you know about that. What do you know about that? 49. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. So having a hacking... The hacking... Um, you can... And there's... there's The Fixer has a lot of little... You can actually hack the teleportation network to, create, to access something known as the Fixer group. We'll go over that again at a later video. But for now... For now... Dr. Fern? 
I returned the terminal was hacked. Do you have an ID chip of some fashion? Give it here. Absolutely. Complete credits. Great. Anything else? Nope. All right. Goodbye. Doesn't say anything. Where to next? Talk to Dr. Mason. Man, this is... I gotta imprint some DNA on this chip. All right, Dr. Mason. What's going on? Got anything for me, Dr. Mason? I heard you might be able to help me. Assemble a leg implant, shiny, and I will upload the recipe to the ice to my NCU. Leg implant, agility, shiny. So there's bright clusters. Okay, I need a shiny with a leg implant. Hmm. Wish I could search for this. Biometamorphosis, assault, aimed. Adventuring class. Nope, we need this one. Okay, we'll pick that one up. Thank you. And now I need to go buy a basic implant for legs. Oh, this is a pharmacy. Always nice, but not really what I'm looking for. Buy the implant. I think this will be the implant. Okay, so I need a leg implant. Ooh, all basic implants. I love I love the implant. Right arm, waist, leg. Hold on, wait, maybe? Five. Okay, accept. Uh shift T. Let's go with Let's build. Uh maybe the order was wrong? Target. The source. There it is. All right, cool. I got the order wrong. Easy enough. So we've assembled the implant. Hi, it's Nim. How you doing? I cut out some footage here where I failed at reading the mission text. This cost me several thousand credits and a few minutes of frustration with ultimately leading to my success, which you'll see. Bottom line, be sure to read the mission text because while this didn't cost me a whole lot and wouldn't have cost you a whole lot in the long run, once you start making things that are very expensive or buying things that are very expensive at endgame, it can add a lot of frustration. Anyways, back to the video. Stamina cluster plus agility shiny build. Okay, I, I feel like I did that before, but maybe I'm just... Maybe I took leave of my senses? Okay, assemble an implant. Uh, okay, then get a max health faded. Okay, max health faded. All right. Uh, fast attack. Melee cluster. Melee. Mechanical engineering. Matter creation. Martial arts. Okay. Matter. Matter. Max health faded. Except. Now let's do shift T one more time. And as you guys can tell, I definitely always do the, uh... Got the stamina. Agility and stamina, that's what I want. Build. Perfect. Now let's show Dr. Mason that... I finished that implant. Alright, and that's how you build- that's how you build an implant. Okay, how do I- how do I install, reinstall an implant, and then I go over here, install it, and we should be full there. Nice. Alright, install it. Go. Oh. Let's talk to Dr. Mason. Okay, so you need the blank ID chip and the biological survey nanobot. Blank ID chip. Biological survey nanobots. Thanks for all the help. All right, Lorelei has the final step. Lorelei, you are... Getting on my nerve. That's okay. So I gotta go talk to uh, the final bartender thing, and this should let me be able to leave. All right, Lorelai, what do you got for me? Oh, do you might be able to give me a hand? Uh, let's see here. What do you need? What's a read? 
Anything I should know about Lolly? Can I buy a cookie? All right, cool. So I bought a cookie. Simple enough. Unless that was just a, a point to get me to waste some extra stuff. But we got it. Let's go get Lorelai's lost pet. And, uh, yeah. Now, if I remember... Did I kill Narl? I have not killed Narl. You know what, Narl? There you go. All right, Roller Rat. You've attacked me. Attacked me for the last time, Roller Rat. I mean, that pretty good Roller Rat, not the other one. Apparently, I can't attack Narl the Roller. Weird. All right. Well, let's go talk. Let's go talk to this Re thing here and see what we uh, what we have going on. The desert Reet. Oh, I can burst. Okay, perfect. Need. Oh, that's right. Need money, please. Yes, I got it. I did it. I beat it. That one, that one, that one was very, very annoying. I remember, I remember that quest uh, the last time I was leveling, and it was very, like, I, lo I, I just, I couldn't seem to catch Lolly the Reed. Okay, Lorelai lost pet. Do I have Lolly? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I've got that. I feel like I've captured it. With the bird in the cake. God, am I going to have to... Sometimes, sometimes the game gets mildly frustrating with, uh, with, with how everything has to be done a certain, a certain way. That looks like everybody's gaining, uh, gaining everything else. That's pretty cool. Lorelai, can I give you... Nice. This isn't what you wanted? What are you talking about? There it is. All right, dope. Got it. I had to hit shift, apparently. I have the bird! Uh, the bird and the ID chip. Nice. I've got an ID! So there we go. I'm a fully-fledged colonist of Rubica. Let's go talk to our friend here. Which is Vaughn. Here's my identification. I leveled. There it is. Look at that. How do I leave? Uh, simply use the elevator. Now, keep in mind that once you leave a REIT landing, you cannot come back. So, that right there, in about an hour and 21 minutes, we were able to go from the start of the game to being able to access the wider world. So, depending on, you might be a little faster. You might be a, a little less fast, depending on the time. So, keep that in mind. Now, guys, I want to say this. We recorded this all in one take uh, after a couple of different times with games crashing. Luckily, it didn't crash this time. Uh, if you enjoyed this, one thing you can always do is you can always hit subscribe or uh, you can hit uh, likes, comments, notifications, things like that. And if you want to talk to me live, I have a Discord link down below in the description of the video. In addition to all that, I also happen to have a stream where I do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday where you do a bunch of different things, educational to video game playing. So that's something there you can always take a look at if you'd like. And that's found at twitch.tv slash Nimicry. There should be something on the screen there. If you're social media inclined, you can follow me on Twitter at Nimicry. Honestly, it was fun to make content for, fun, uh, I'm sorry, for Anarchy Online. I was thinking about Final Fantasy. Uh, it, was fun to, it was fun to make content for Anarchy Online because this was the first MMO I ever played. And I have a great love for this game. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, keep gaming, enjoy life, and uh, I'll talk to you later.